One of the more challenging experiences was when I was first invited or elected to be, um, we call them regional pastors, regional directors, the pastor to the pastors of our Northern California, Northern Nevada. It was Hawaii and we later added Guam, that group. Um, there was a false ballot sent out to the churches, to some of them, and I obviously was not selected on that. We heard about there had been an election and some of the churches had been excluded. Um, then after that, there was a proper election. All the interviews had taken place and it was time really for installation and appointment. And um, some persons who are now certainly good fellow brothers of mine um, decided that we need to have another interview process mm -hmm. that wasn't decided in the beginning. So um, Sister James needs to go to each area of the district and be interviewed again by both uh, lay persons as well as the individual pastors. So we did that and my husband went along with me. And in one of those meetings, one of the leading pastors said, if we are to have a African-American woman or a black woman who is over our region, um, we're afraid that will send the wrong message to our churches. So I'm waiting, thinking, you know, women are gonna somehow rise up and rebel. Is that the message? And the comment was, because if you are over our district, then we are concerned that our daughters will be dating and marrying black men. I was floored because I couldn't make the connection. Um, it happens that I'm married to a same race male. So we were not modeling an interracial marriage. If we were, we were, but we weren't. So I couldn't, I couldn't grasp the basis of the fear um, of a black woman in this position somehow putting at risk young white females to black males. Uh, it just, it did not make sense. Mm -hmm. um, and so as that feeling began to spread throughout a district, and I was their first female, even though we had female pastors in our movement, um, I th may the, maybe the second in the country to ever have a district. Um, it became challenging when it was time to discipline some of those pastors, um, to close some of those churches, um, to have a lot to say about their budgets, um, because the resistance was, you know, trying to build the credibility. And it was important at that point that I continued to do what I thought I was called to do, um, but it became more than me in the chair. Every time I walked in the room, um, there was a group with me. Uh, so there were some things that had to be cleared up. One that um, I'm here as a woman, but I'm more than my gender. Um, I'm here as an African-American, but there's additional side of me there that's, that's whatever. Um, and that you have to ha take the whole person. Um, none of those will be denied ever, but you have to take the whole person. And it turned out I was in that position for 15 years. So it worked well, but there were times when I felt like, I don't know if I want to be bothered with this or if I want to go back. <laughs>